like that. We do our removal cut underneath it. Take some wood out. Okay. I'm going to take the same gouge, flip it over, okay. stick it right about where that you last cut left off. We're going to make some nostril holes, dig it in, especially in the corner there. Same on this side, dig it in a little bit, get deep in the corner. Towards the outside corner is what I'm talking about there, okay? And that's going to be start shaping the bottom of our nose. Put the nostril holes in. I'm going to remove those, the wood from underneath those. Okay. This rolling pin's got some tough wood. Think it would be so tough? That's good though. Okay. You move on this side. Sure doesn't carve as easy as basswood, that's for sure. Okay. At the corner over here, those nostrils, I like to take wood out of there. that flip it over give yourself some room there okay round this off a little I'm really going to take some wood out of the nose right from the start out from underneath it clean it up detail knife these things are round you got to really shape them according to the shape of whatever it is you're carving. Sometimes you want to carve, I guess, but that's my experience. Okay, so that's all taken out from underneath. Right? It needs, it needs to clean up a little more yet, but as we go, that's all going to be carved out, so I'm not really worried about whatever's sticking there. Now what we're going to do is come to the corner about here and we're gonna sweep our gouge up in here right into the corner towards the center we're gonna try and get deep there right there to shape our nose we're gonna take all that out okay, so I'm gonna get my gouge lay it right on the corner of that nostril and push it up right to the brow line take all that wood out so you gotta start forming a nice shape now I'm gonna go to the side staying underneath that brow line right here just like this Come in. I'm trying to do this slow to show you just like that okay take that wood out don't worry about the little fuzzies and stuff hanging off little chips We'll clear them out later. Okay, can you see what I did there? If I pick it up, I'm sorry I get out of the camera. It's kind of over my shoulder and I have to turn my head to see if I'm on it or not. Okay, so right in here. You say right at the corner there, you want to get in nice and deep. And then come from this side. Okay, over here. Stay underneath your brow line. And, and take that in and Take it out just like that. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to clean this up. That'll all shape together nice with the detail knife since we're just using detail knives today and not gouges. Okay. Now we're going to go to the other side. Let's see if you can get this. I'm going to turn them so you can see that other side. right on the corner there wiggle it up to you right under that brow line mm 
I really should have a monitor in front of me. Okay, this one I'm going to take from here since I'm right handed. Yeah. Okay, you see him starting to shape up now. So I took the corner out, or went from the corner of the nose hair, I mean, all the way up to here. You come from the side and clean that out, okay? I'll probably hit this with a ruby carver. And I think that'll really work nice in cleaning it up. It'll smooth all that wood right down. You can tell it's kind of pressed together. It's not really like a solid piece of maple or... I'm really not sure what kind of wood it is. It's supposed to be maple. Okay. That's why it's so tough to carve. It's Maple carve is nice, but it can be rough. It's hard wood. Okay. Now, we got our nose and our eyes. The sockets anyway started. A hairline established. I'm going to see how he sands for a minute, clean him up a little bit, and then come back and we'll take the next couple of steps. Okay, I'm back. What I did was I went off camera for a minute, got some sandpaper, and see how he sanded up. He sands up pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to do a video on power carving one of these because I used a ruby carver over here in the corners and it really smoothed them out nice. And uh, I just did it for a couple seconds. I just I don't want all those chips hanging around and stuff. Because I don't really have a big set of tools in front of me. I'm trying to do it with some simple stuff. But sandpaper would have done the same thing. And it did actually. Uh, I didn't even work on them that hard. So this is probably a good little cheap inexpensive thing you can buy and it, it'll carve up pretty good. It's actually my first time doing one of these so uh, one of these type of rolling pins. I've carved a lot of rolling pins. But, but I think this material is, is going to work out okay. Okay the next thing we're going to do 